I think you'll find out that uh, they might be doing maybe just a little bit of a step up just to keep that rail in the water off the bottom. As we check out the first heat of the Rip Curl Women's Pro Bells Beach, Stephanie Gilmore takes the lineup, a six-time world champion, a three-time Bells champ, taking on Bianca Batendog from South Africa, and Chelsea Tuak, the rookie from Barbados. Already hearing the horn sound as they cleared the lineup from the free surf that got underway. And now all back to business here at the second stop of the Samsung Galaxy Championship Tour. Uh, if you're, uh, there's a certain place that uh, you can come from behind, as we see right now, Steph. Stephanie Gilmore taking on the first wave of competition at this year's Rip Curl Pro Bells Beach. Fading cutback and she'll get out of there. So just a quick start for Gilmore. As we know, Gilmore put down some fireworks at the opening event of the season in round two. As we now see Bianca Batendog, a little carb off the lip, now waiting for this inside section. Nice clean backhand jam off the roof. Little high line cutback for the South African. Now essing her way through this inside. Series of backhand cutties through the flats, but still with a ton of speed coming off the bottom. Big backhand jam, and Baden Dog will take the lead. You know what, Joe? The, the thing that I came back to uh, memory real fast is this is a, a really demanding wave. You know, it's not a kind of wave where. Uh, all the time it's going to push you along. You really need to find that power source. You really need to make sure you draw back down in the pocket, not go all the way to the bottom, and uh, use that low bottom turn. Now the rookie from Barbados, Chelsea Tuak, on her opening ride. Little setup turn out the back. Gets way out in front, little redirect. Now with some speed off the bottom, she'll get a big hack off the top, and she won't be able to hang on to the finish. So Gilmore up first, had that early score. Bianca Batendog capitalizing on a solid section on her backhand to finish. And now Tuak getting on board real quick. Yeah, you know, I think it's um, the more time in the water you spend here, the better off you're going to be. Uh, let's have a look at Chelsea here. You know, these are the waves you don't really want. You know, you want to catch those first couple in the set. See all that white water on the face there. That's just going to not really allow her to set the fins. You can see it's a lot more difficult to get that board that rail deep in the water and then goes for broke at the end so you know it's a kind of wave where you've got to really get into that groove straight away find that clean open face also Bianca Bettendog got this one from really deep around the corner yeah you can see a bit of a different wave hitting that reef a lot better standing up a lot more vertical nice and clean on the face so these are the waves you want it's allowing Bianca just to draw off that bottom set that rail and have that confidence to know that the board's not going to skip out of the water so you know almost you, you almost got to nurse it around certain turns you can't really just hook into it here at Bells Beach. You've got to just tap off every now and again. You've got to be very patient and uh, let the wave stand up before you can actually open up and do those big turns. So we see numbers coming in for Bianca Batendog and she'll be taking an early lead as she drops a 5.17 representing Victoria Bay in South Africa. Still just 22 years of age, number nine in the world after her start at Snapper Rocks, a place where she had finaled in the past. As we always love the Rookie of the Year race, it'll be Tuak versus Keeley Andrew. Keeley, like Tatiana the year before, had a lot of wild card opportunities as well to have a bit more experience. Now Gilmore's up. Big jam off the lip, and now she's going to step off. So a couple of short rides for the three-time Bells champ as she's chipping away at the lead. Very rare you find a rookie that comes here on his first year and does really well. There are the exceptions, but generally speaking, the rookies have a hard time their first year out. Now our goofy foot representing South Africa, Bianca Batendog. Beautiful first turn right in the pocket. Bottom turn, a little climbing snap ends up incomplete. Batendog had the start of a 5-1-7, last to Gilmore just a 3-1-7. So Bianca still out in front. Tuak opens with a 2.33. So small scores just getting into the system. Um, obviously there's a, a, lot, a lot of little idiosyncrasies that are involved with our sport that you know, aren't seen at the, to the naked eye. That's why I've got the replay now. We never used to have that. You can see Bianca's wave. These are the ones you want, Joe. See how that thing's standing up? It's got a lot of vertical face. Kind of missed that section there, but then managed to tag it. So you want to get those nice, medium-sized, clean ones. You know, sometimes the first wave in the set, you let that go. That cleans the lineup for you. Then you're on the second one. You've got that nice, clean, open face, and it just allows you to hook right into your turns a hell of a lot better. As we see the finishing move down the beach, you also start to notice the, the range of Bianca Bettendog. 
the tallest surfer on the top 17. Uses that to her advantage quite a bit as we'll get the roll in now for Chelsea Tuak. Tuak with some speed. Just a little jam under the white water. Another little fading snap as she's trying to find a good section to work with. And just keeping that board swinging off the top. Tuak will start thinking about her finishing move. Big jam on the open face. One of her best turns so far. And then she'll throw the inside corner away. More waves on the way. Gilmore now rushing that big section out the back with that wrap. Ton of speed for that little crack off the lip. Bianca takes off and kicks out. Now the finishing move for Gilmore will end up incomplete. You know, you're going to find that a lot. I mean, the legs are burning by the time you get down to the end section here. You've got, you know, done a lot of big turns, covered a lot of distance. And you'll normally see the surfer take a little bit of time to relax, taking those deep breaths. Recovery period starts now, and then ready to go when you're out the back. 17.55 on the clock. Let's see what Stephanie Gilmore did out the back butts. Yeah, well, this is, these are the ones you want, Joe. Second wave of the set. See how nice and clean it is. This, we're going to see a lot of cutbacks here at Bells. I think it really sets you up for the rest of the wave. Steph connecting absolutely perfect. That first opening turn really puts you in good rhythm here at Bells Beach. And, uh, you, you know, once you connect with that first turn, it sort of almost puts you in a really good position. You're not chasing your tail. You're not trying to slow down. It's just really seamless surfing, maneuver after maneuver, and that's what you're looking for. Last score was a solid one for Gilmore, though, an 8.0 that has her in the lead. So now making a move is the rookie, Chelsea Tuak. She's got a lot of white water crumbling in front of her that's going to delay this first turn. Tuak representing Barbados. Now after a long time without a maneuver, she'll have to kick out way down the beach. Joe Trapel with 89 world champ Martin Potter as we really set the day on hand. We saw the swell really pick up and get really contestable and we're going to continue with this one right out front. This is Bianca. Big bottom turn and times that top turn arc with the whitewater. And she is going to get out just a quick one maneuver section. And it kind of made it easy because you knew what you were, were in for. You know, nowadays you heard Mick on the morning show say he brought around about 18 boards here. Everything from a 6.6 down to a 5.10. That's right. Full range of quiver for the world's best as we see Bianca Badendog swinging for the lead. Deep bottom turn. Great composure off the top. Beautiful speed line on the backhand and jams it one more time. The South African redirects and now looks for her final couple of maneuvers. Nice swing on the backhand again. Baden Dog looking for the finish. Nice tight jam. And this will just give her more room for more on the inside. Little backhand float. And now fading out of there. So Baden Dog needs a 6 0 1 for the win. Remember, she already had a 5 1 7. Yep. Great wave for the South African. And that was underneath Steph's priority. So maybe a little bit of a, a priority glitch there from Steph Gilmore. They didn't be anchor going it. And, you know, those are the ones we talk about, Joe. Those medium-sized ones. They hit the reef nicely. After that set went by, the water was kind of calm and clean. Bianca tagged. I reckon that's the best wave of the heat. The water patrol in Hawaii, in, in Tahiti, in Fiji, they're all elite athletes. They're all guys that ride big waves. They're all fit and really knowledgeable about the ocean. Here we go, Bianca. Steph let this go. See how nice and clean it is. Smooth on the face. Bianca, beautiful opening turn. Really key here at Bells Beach is to get that first turn going. Once you do, you're in good set for the rest of the wave. Now coming back to live action with Stephanie Gilmore up. Trying to protect her lead out front. Highline carve. Now looks like she has a lot of speed to burn. Big arc off the top again for Gilmore. Floats that inside section to stay really active, and she'll step off. Now continuing with this set is the rookie, Chelsea Tuak. A couple of fading turns to stick to the pocket. Wall's looking a little bit slopey, so nothing on offer for a finish for Tuak, and she's out. Chelsea started with a 2-3-3, built to a 3.53. Waiting for the numbers from the last of Bianca Badendog and Gilmore to see if we're going to get close to a lead change here. Surfers that stand with their right foot forward. Back in the day, there'd be like one or two from the Chelsea Georgeson era to the Paige Harab and Bianca, but sometimes they said it offered the judges a point of difference because they had so many natural footers as we take another look. Yeah, the judges are obviously having a look at this. That opening turn right there, oh so important. You notice how she doesn't go all the way to the bottom too, Joe. As soon as you get too far down, you lose a lot of speed. Bianca keeping that rhythm, 
keeping that flow going, and that's what you've got to do out here. Surf that wave. That you could tell how she took her time with it. Some beautiful turns. Nothing too critical. So that's probably the only thing that I can see that is going to hurt the score. But great wave selection, great maneuver choice, and finished off on her feet, which is going to be huge. The score's coming in for Bianca. It's a 7-8-3, and this was the last of Gilmore. Yeah, Steph, you can see just in a little bit more of attack mode there. Lays back into it, waiting for it to build up. See how she keeps that board moving rail to rail. That's what you've got to do out here. Can't have too much downtime. As soon as you do, you'll lose a lot of speed, and then you won't be able to open up with big turns like Steph's done. Great variety on this occasion. Gets caught up in the white water and bails out. So is, uh, is that going to be the score she's looking for, Joe? She's uh, looking for a 5.0. I think she's going to get it. So Steph Gilmore lost her lead when Bianca's got... Bianca's score came in at a 7.83. So Stephanie Gilmore did a lot of amazing turns on that last ride. It only needs that average number of 5.0. The judges setting their scale, and it looks like a 4.83 from the panel. The horn sounds, and it looks like at the moment Bianca Badendog still stay out, safe out in front pots. Wow. So uh, a 4.83 for Steph Gilmore, needing that 5.0. Almost there. One judge gave it to her, two judges gave it to her, and three didn't, so it was a split decision right there. I think on the merit of Bianca's wave, and then Steph got that one right behind. Uh, obviously it wasn't as clean as the Steph had hoped, but a good hit from Bianca. That's right, for the second straight event here in 2016, Stephanie Gilmore will have to deal with round two.